Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Fizzy. Welcome back to our Alan Wake playthrough. We are starting episode four in game, The Truth. After episode three, which was a long haul to say the least, it really was. I think some of the gameplay areas could have been shortened just a tad. Um, but we did learn some very important things. We did. One, Thomas Sane and Barbara Jagger were lovers. I'm pretty sure that the creepy bathroom widow is Barbara Jagger. The name of the woman standing around the dark spots telling you, oh, don't go in there, it's dangerous in the dark. The one that, the, the lady that everybody says is crazy. That's Cynthia Weaver. We found some yellow paint. The yellow paint we've been following, the yellow paint that's been giving us lots and lots of stuff that we need. We found some yellow paint and it looked a little unhinged. It had hearts with the name Tom everywhere and there was a big heart with CW, Cynthia Weaver, plus TZ, Thomas Sane. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. We're, we're getting backstory. We're learning about people that we didn't know about before. Aside from that, the, the strings have not been connected. I'm going to let the game Previously go through its Wake. recap by the law. and we'll go from there. Oh, that's right. There's that creepy FBI agent who drinks too much. A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The Poor genre Rose. of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice you had don't been say. But that was you, It didn't turn into a horror story the moment your wife was dragged into the lake. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The dark presence. That's what we're calling the, the goo. The dark goo. The dark um, presence. Alan, that's more sophisticated. Baby, it was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Oh, oh god I damn it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I you went through This is like the last period. person Alan wants to right see. Now it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of Wait. your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. <sighs> It's okay, Alan. Just let go. What? Are they trying to imply that he's been locked up this whole time? Silent Hill 5 style? I felt no. groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Is Hartman the same doctor that um, Alice wanted him to link up with initially? There were only empty sheets of paper here. I'm not sure. No manuscript pages. You have yet to write them, Alan. I'm also a little fuzzy on the timeline as to when those manuscript pages are being Good written. Evening, oh. Alan. Are we feeling better now? No, absolutely feeling not. Calm? I'm feeling yeah. drugged. I see you brought your pet They're wearing off, so, so give sure, me more I'll... drugs. I get the message. Loud and clear. Oh. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over the everything gorilla's you gone. Get him. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Don't... Oh. I mean, for the sake of me, the this player... Is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. The creator's now. dilemma. Them out for, a fishing trip. for the sake Except of the player, the please let us get fresh air, but... I mean, in-game universe, don't let Alan outside. He will run. Recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. Okay, so where's the coffee mug? I know I there's one in do. here. <laughs> Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. I'm busy. I'm trying this to. Way, Alan. 
There's a Night Springs video game? No, bro, I'm not doing any kind of therapy. I'm gonna sit here and play video games all day. That's too real. Okay. Oh, is there anything significant on this board? I don't... Is this, like, concept art from... I wonder if this is, like, some kind of, like, storyboard, like drafting from the game it's from like the game devs themselves i wouldn't be surprised from from this dev what sam lake i wouldn't be surprised remedy remedy Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is She's dead. not dead. No. You're She's in, in Silent Hill. Horrible state until you understand and accept this. No. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. No. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions unusual thinking an obsession about light and darkness a feeling that everything revolves around you your thoughts and dreams your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality she has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you i don't like this I go man this way alan i wasn't ready for another shot so i went along with it he had to be lying but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe See, that I'm telling you, that's like, it's don't let him outside. Head. Alan's you like, I just need to get far up. enough outside. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the truth. Can we jump from here, Alan? I think we can. We can make it. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the It really doesn't. Nothing you're saying makes sense. In the insane mind? supernatural conspiracy nature, sounds Alan. way cooler and more sane. Everything can be explained logically. No, it can't. Not really. I've tried. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ. TZ like Thomas Sane? I see TZ and my brain automatically thinks Tasmanian Devil. I don't know how that works, but it just that's just the first the first synopsis there. In memory of a dear friend and a poet. Okay, let me read that quote again. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. I'm not smart enough. That's okay. We'll get there. It might be explained to me. I might just have to live in the darkness of ignorance. Where did where did our doctor friend friend go? Up these stairs. <laughs> I got distracted by the monument. Oh no, he's still down there. Oh my god. I was blinded by the dark presence. It wasn't my fault. Sir. Hello? Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I'm wondering if there's a focus button somewhere. I Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. This, After all, your I don't like him. I've, he's gaslighting me, right? Why is that? That's how you use that because word, I'm right? Lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the Get him, Alan. Talk. 
Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms now. of my hands to stay you focused. Oh my God, I know the feeling, man. That, I am so sorry. The journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. <laughs> oh, thermos. Come Wait, on, come on. who's hissing at me? Well, here's the entrance to the office ah. wing. That's for staff only. Scary, you were impressed scary, by my trophies scary. when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, <laughs> man versus nature. Alan is just so, he's just trying so hard to ignore yet. him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Got gotcha. you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night. That's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Don't yeah, you like act me like... way so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, Who sorry. Is... Ew. <laughs> That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some get to the small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. Wow, he's like, no he's kidding. barely an artist, but he, it, technically, I can help him. What kind of art do you do? Let me guess. Interpretive dance. It's wonderful. I love it. Okay, but the lady that did the thing with the SpaghettiOs has to be here somewhere, and I'm gonna find her. If this is a place for artists who are recovering from mental breakdown, she's gotta be here. Have you seen the SpaghettiO lady? I don't think she has. It's okay. Oh, I'm supposed to follow Hartman. I- no, I am not. I- my- my mango is to get- oh, Night Springs maybe? No, I need to get that coffee thermos. Yes, okay. Hartman can wait, okay? He can, he can yap, yap, yap all he wants. Oh, another one of these barcodes? Okay, I'll scan it later. Maybe I'll remember. I wonder if it's meant to be positioned between those two paintings in that way. I was also hoping we can get our episode Hartman of Night Springs on that TV. Up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Okay, we might need a key for that later. So this area seems like it's it's set up for us to get <laughs> chased through here at one point, which is great. Look at that poor owl. Nope, Chuck Testa. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so old. Wait, what am I trying to read here? Okay, thank you. The Creator's Dilemma, the engaging new book by Dr. Emil Hartman, the author of the best-selling Creative Flow, his groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow, explained in his own words, now available in bookstores across the country. This man just TM'd engagement therapy and the flow. Can you trademark the flow? And if you could trademark the flow, I'm pretty sure like a tampon company would have done that by now. Unrealistic. Now. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm. Oh, those are the coconut guys. What a storm. Is this guy trying to trick me into writing more manuscripts? The the earth. And these two more night springs. Are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? Let me guess, a is Tor the one with the hammer? In the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. Oh. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. 
They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. It's pulling I'm night afraid springs. that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Hey man, I'm sure it was worth it. These two look like they're living the dream right now. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this. I don't like this. that. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. He wants those manuscript pages, bro. I'm not into it. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. <laughs> oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is The thunder? Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we. What's with all of these? A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's Thor, here's Odin, Asgard. Asgard? Is that right? Valhalla. My head was clearing up. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Enter Emil. Okay. No, not. Emil is. Okay, we have a new character. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Oh, Our fetch quest, let's go. All of chapter four is just getting these guys booze. Right Make you remember, like, moonbeams on the brain. <laughs> moonbeams oh, on the brain. Notice leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> it's I'm not. <laughs> Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder. Baba the Yaga? Witch. And my ravens. What was. What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> these yeah, guys know, so a, like, on. these guys you know something. Sure out they and wrong. Just are not the dement. Lady. They're She'll not demented, okay? <laughs> they do, they do not writer. suffer from She's dementia. They... <laughs> You let her. You went and opened the door for her. Didn't I absolutely you? did. Now, now, probably. It was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease ridden, old and stupid. What did they do? Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way. God damn it! Ah. Fuck. Okay, so they were they hung out with Thomas Zane, and they all I'm did so something. Tired. Built the farm close to the lake. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I need to draw everybody's we attention to the balding there, man, man in the background you, you painting. Go there and have a party. I'm pretty sure James Sunderland disappeared to Bright Falls, and this is what he's doing. Look at that jacket, okay? Everything has to be Silent Hill. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. These guys are still talking. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Oh. Well. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. <sighs> Bad scene. Yeah. The cancer, too. That that sucked, too. Uh-huh. I'm tired. Okay, I think they're gonna start looping. So tired. 
Well, welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by the creative processes. Processes. Processi. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. That was so corporate speak. It was either that or just the inflection that I read it in, but that felt pretty corporate. The inflection felt appropriate for for the the topic at hand. Can I get through here? No, I just want to watch that TV. Ugh, and I think I saw a manuscript page off in the distance. Return to your room. I don't have a room here. I refuse. I want to work here. It's me, Alan Wake. The hey, best nurse wait. ever. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. Who are you? You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. I'm Alan Wake. Don't talk to me. This lady has a pleasant side profile. I really like it. I really like it. Just putting it out there. Ooh! Oh! <gasps> oh. It's hard Alan Wake. Not Night Springs. My head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. Barbara Jagger. Her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. What? What's the story, other Alan? Help us. Oh, okay. Where was our room again? I don't... Wait, that's us. Okay. Uh... Mm. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. This writer's block. Uh. Everybody, calm down. Put that down. I need help. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Artist uprising, or. Taken. What the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did you get a damn Oh, is oh, it? I need to see them. Oh, a manuscript page. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman. Oh. Where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. For a second. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. For a second, I thought this was implying that Barry had met Hartman a lot earlier on, around the same time that Alice met him, and Barry and Alice were in on this together. But Barry and Alice would never be in on something together, right? I think this is more talking about something that's happening currently-ish. Currently-ish. Okay, let's go check on the old men. It's my store. Sinclair I'm looked back. It. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy the old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Destiny. I had to get to Hartman's office. 
He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping Come me. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! Oh my gosh! They're wild! Okay, enough about them. Leave them alone. Wait, did that orderly run down here and then proceed to lock himself up in that room? The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. It looks like a poorly snapped screenshot. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh! Oh, the guy, that, oh, oh! What is going on? Tapes said they were recordings Hartman had now made in sessions with his patients. Can you tell me about I saw Alice's problems. name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe the right. The party is, he's so angry all the time. Alan was partying? Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Ellen doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk This is to probably him. hard for yes. Alan to listen to. What would you say to him if he'd listen? I'm supposed to say Barry, but I'm just sitting here listening to I these tapes say, instead. It's fine. I look at you, and it's not you. Stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. How long ago was this? Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just He's going to try and punch you. <laughs> He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. No. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it. I think knew Mott it. is the, the shame kidnapper? Of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Okay, so Hartman's back here pulling the strings. Bear, we're, we need to save Barry. Barry? <laughs> Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Of course. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue. Oh, damn it. I didn't think locking, unlocking the door would cut Barry off. My bad. These are all the pages I had on me. And more. Oh, he swiped, he swiped all our pages, too? Oh, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more yeah. lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Yeah, just do it anyways. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, he, Just like that. On. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! It's like, Barry, I don't want you to witness Listen, a murder. This is a mistake. 
You're Don't like you a see? golden retriever, Barry. Yeah, we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Oh, it's getting him. Why is it getting him? Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Okay, so this is right after... Um the encounter with the kidnapper he got sucked into the the dark nato and we got spit into the water the dark presence would be on me in a moment i had to find a way out okay alan let's go oh no it's juicy in there alan alan oh! <laughs> No, Alan. Bad Alan. Oh, no? Okay. No, thank you. Oh, oh, I am. I forgot. It, it, it controls furniture now. I can't shoot the furniture. Oh, okay. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Okay. Oh, I know where that is. I cannot believe I just took the beating of a lifetime from all this stuff. Terrible. There it is. Every single time I start this game back up, I forget where the run button is. And I spend the first 30 seconds of combat action, I should say. That's bad. That's good. I spend the first like 30 to 45 seconds of combat looking for the run button. <laughs> Hey! No, thank you. Ugh. Oh. Oh, we got a flare. Great. We're not complete. Oh, no, we have a flare and five pistol bullets. Is that... Are those boulders? What is that? Do I have to flare it? Sounds like it's working. Maybe? Yeah! Okay. I wasn't sure if that's what I was supposed to do. I forget if you can actually break down these items or not. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Or worse. So much artist slander going on here. ...control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. What is he looking for? An Alan? Should I go through here? Ah! Run, Alan, run! We reached a checkpoint. We must be going the right way. Ah! Ah! Let me out! That thing looks like it's gonna get me. Yeah, you look like you were gonna come after me. Like, Chris Redfield style. Yeah, yeah, you break down that wall. I actually need that, thank you. Now shoot yourself down this hallway. Yeah, you come, are you, are you, okay. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, I didn't make it! Okay, it's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine anymore. Oh, it's still angry. Stop yeeting yourself at me. Oh! <gasps> Absolutely not. I didn't get destroyed by a giant ball. No. Yeah. Do my bidding. It's me, Alan Wake. You want me. Hello, hi. Yes. This way, sir. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> You're dumb. You're a dumb ball. This way? No. This way? No, the door's locked! I'm the dumb ball! Oh god, he's back. I was just kidding about that dumb thing. Oh, okay. Run by him. Maybe it's one of these side doors. No? Maybe I have to get him to break through the door, the exterior doors. Okay. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Oops. Ah! Hey, come on, man. Where's your aim? Oh, okay. That was bad. I need to get him to the other side of the room again. Oh, I... Okay. I know what to do now. Whether or not I can accomplish that task. <laughs> That's another story. I see you. Come on, ball. Come hither. You know what would be... I know... I think that's a light fixture, but it would be cooler if it was a giant hamster ball. I would like that. Is it coming? No? Come on. I need more time. Thank you. Run, Alan! Okay, now all you have to do is stand here and wait. No? Is that not what I'm supposed to do? That is what I'm supposed to do. <gasps> you? I'm here. I'm going. Barry, I'm dying. I found the car, but the gate's locked. Oh, You're gonna nuts. have to go through the hedge maze over there. Oh. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Okay. Thank you, Barry. You're a friend and a pal. I love you. Oh. Oh, okay. Running, running, running. Oh. Really, Gate? You're going to do me like this? Yeah, go away, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks, Barry. That's very insightful of you. All right, here we go. I can hear those evil guys. <laughs> oh, it was a trap. Yeah. Still going this way. Maybe I should go in the direction that they pop out of. Oh, <gasps> maybe that's what I need to do because that led to a dead end when I did not. So every time they pop out of a direction, I'm gonna switch directions and go that way. Ooh, don't trust a meal. Well, that dude's assistant. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, I would assume you would want to trust Zane's assistant. Okay, so there's there's some misdoings afoot. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. <laughs> But I'm the the yellow writing I am attributing to Cynthia Weaver for now, unless the game tells me otherwise. And I'm inclined to believe her because, ooh, I hear it. I'm inclined to believe her because she see. Oh, 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 oh! Wow, you're just gonna flurry me like that. On, man you can't be this thick it's not fair
Okay. All right, not terrible. I, I remembered that I had flares. I utilized my tools. I hate everything, but it's okay. We will persevere. Send me on some shining ass adventure through this head maze. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. What is he worried about? I mean, aside from uh, the darkness and Alan, didn't, did, did the darkness kill him? Is that, oh, you know what? I just got, I, it's a, I got myself turned around. Hold on, don't run around like an idiot and stop thinking. Okay, this is where the big fight happened. I went down that way and there was nothing. So let's go this way instead. Or I, opposite, either way. Okay, it's the other way. It's this way then. I almost started running around through this maze like a chicken with their head cut off and I'm so glad I stopped myself. Good job. Ooh. We don't want any fighting. It makes peace. What is who's talking about TV? I'm like tempted to go back into the maze. Like, is there a TV in there somewhere? Can I watch Night Springs? I'm gonna be sad if I miss a Night Springs episode. Great, got some revolver ammo. My batteries are all juiced up. You get two pills in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold all day long. That's quite the range. I'm impressed. Oh! Oh, it's the it's the orderly! He's full of birds. Oh, yeah, I heard those. Hey, stop it. Stop it, birds. Stop it right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. I tried to dodge. It didn't work. Birds, go away. Be gone. I'm trying to beat up your father. Oh. Oh, we got him. Now it's just his birds. Okay, there's some stuff in here that looks useful. Hey, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Great. Oh, I guess that flare that flare gun would have been useful. <laughs> That's okay. Now we have it for later. Should I go off to the 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 other path? There's there's a word I'm looking for here. And it's escaping me. It's fine. Oh, I think this just loops us around. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, I got- I turned myself around. That's fine. That's what I get- Oh! Oh, he genuinely scared me! Not expecting this guy! Oh, I am running low on batteries, too. That's great. Oh! Hey! Stop it! I feel so vulnerable. No batteries. At least when you're on the... When you have zero batteries, at least it recharges for you. At least it, it that's fair. I appreciate that. I wonder if they take that away on higher difficulty levels. Because I'm playing on normal right now. That would be pretty brutal. Ooh, 
Ooh, checkpoint. Okay, let's see if there's any batteries in here for us. Shotgun ammo, manuscript. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin, if only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Oh, man. Is that, is, am I reading that right? He's like <laughs> a little bit afraid of Alan Wake. Like to actually be in this man's bad favor would be terrible. So I'm assuming this is going to be locked. Oh no, I can go right through it. Oh, that's where we came from. Ooh, almost. I feel like I do that every episode. I get turned around. <laughs> I get so easily turned around. I'm gonna say... Oh! This level, I did not... I was... Distracted by level design. I was gonna say this level is a lot more visual... Oh, that's right, my battery, my battery. Okay, fine. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like it! And see, he's not even burnt up all the way. Don't get me! There we go. Okay. <laughs> Usually we're not doing too bad for batteries. You know what? That's what I get for not using my flare gun and my flare. I, if I use those a little more efficiently earlier on, I probably wouldn't be in this battery situation. Oh, we got another flare. Yes, Alan. Excited hops. Yes, yes. Don't do it to me! Trying to bust you? Yeah. Leave me alone. I guess I don't have to... I guess I can just do that, technically, that works. It just takes a little longer. And I don't feel as cool. It feels more passive. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. We'll find you, Barry. He turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, <gasps> an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. That's not real. Barry's okay. Oh, Alan, shoot the cans. I... <laughs> You know what? It's... I wasted... So much ammo. It was worth it. It's about the experience, okay? Oh, look at- see, look at all that ammo I have now. It doesn't even matter. I have all this ammo, and I have all these batteries. Oh! Em Emil made me do- Emil made Tom do it. What did- do what? What did they do? Oh! You! Silly goose! Yeah. Don't mess with Alan. Wake. He's... An angry man, and he will punch you. That's why his aim isn't very good. He's not used to aiming. He's used to punching. He's used to smashing. Oh, yeah, look at all the... Oh, wait, no. I get excited for stuff, and then I remember that stuff is usually means a bad time. 
Did the game just switch me to the shotgun? They're like, you're gonna need this. You might as well just take this out now. <laughs> uh, wait, is that the shotgun or the hunting rifle? I can't tell. I think it's a shotgun. They're shaped similar. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. He sniffed hard. I'm like, He's, what are you sniffing Alan for? <laughs> Okay, there's a man over there. I see you. Can I get him with my flashlight from over here? No, I, I, I don't think I can. <laughs> but I see him. What if I aim it? I can't. Is he behind a gate? Oh, that's Barry. <laughs> I'm over here trying to kill Barry. Sorry, buddy. It's a good thing I didn't take a shot. Hey, buddy. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. <laughs> Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Come on. Okay, this is... Which side am I defending? His side? Hey, Who am I... Who? Okay, me. I'm like, the enemies are going to come from Barry's side of the gate or my side of the gate. I need to be ready. Oh, God. Okay. We're gonna start off with... Just- Oh! I didn't expect this guy to jump over a hedge like that! What kind of guerrilla warfare? Yeah. Please go away. Don't charge through it! Maybe I shouldn't... Do I have to stand here and guard Barry? Or not? I found it! I found it! Ah, Hurry it. up, Barry! There's a large man coming, Barry! Maybe I should use the flare on him? Oh my god, Barry! Oh! That was a little overkill. <laughs> it was necessary. Oh, <laughs> Why is the cutout the back there? Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna <laughs> live in it. What about the cancer, Barry? The cancer. I guess you gotta pick and choose, right? At least Barry's driving this time. If I was driving the car, <laughs> but that's fine, Barry. we'd be walking by now. You got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can- Al, I- No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about her. this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's That's why he's farming artists? Ow, is he trying to find, to like, something that Anderson. clicks with the dark presence presence enough to manifest it? Shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. And by him, I mean Hartman. It, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. You just need to find it. Look out! Oh, god damn it. We can never keep a car whole here. Hopefully everybody was wearing their seatbelts. 
Alan might not have been wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> God damn it, I'll talk to me! Checkpoint reached. Okay, here we go. I gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Of course you did. Find Barry. We can find Barry. This... <laughs> I feel like every... It, it's been... Unlock the door. Find Barry. Barry. Go through the maze. Barry. Find Barry. Oh, man, you're okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah! Ow! There's something moving down here! Oh no. Barry, it's a taken! Use the flare, Barry! Oh nice! He had a flare! Barry, are you alright? Oh, you can see him down there. I'm, good, I'm great! Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before! Huh? Like I just killed a man. <laughs> I'm Barry. I'll be waiting! He's Barry, never just gonna wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up. What is he her. carrying? Is that just a giant stick? <laughs> oh no, it's the cardboard cutout! There is no way! Barry is just ru- He is! He's just running around down there with that Alan Wake cardboard cutout. This man is wild. Oh my god, what a clown. I almost died. I almost died again. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I gotta get to the farm. Oh god, here we go. Well, now I want to go this way. But there's something glowing over there. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> oh no. Don't get me! Please! I don't have a flashlight, I'm vulnerable! <laughs> Alan is too slow, and I'm slow too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, there's a manuscript page here. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Okay. I wonder whose perspective that's from. Is Walter one of the Andersons? Do we know who Walter is? Okay, seems like I should go this way now. Don't even. Don't be a brat. Throwing a temp temper tantrum, throwing things around like a toddler. I see you, dark presence. You just need a nap and a juice box. Is there a thermos over there? <laughs> I'll risk my life for a thermos. Oh, I did it again! No way! <laughs> Oh, I need a counter. I need like, instead of like a death counter, I need a counter for every time I see a thermos off in the distance. I need a counter for every time I, I get turned around and go back the way that I came because it happens way too often in this game. And I can't even blame the level design in this area because it's actually quite nice. Like, chapter three was a pain, but this- this has been good so far. Give me the- th oh, hey! It was worth it. Thermos. Oh, that one maybe not. It's fine. Don't- I- oh god, that's like stubbing your toe. <laughs> oh. 
We're over it. Do I need to get this manuscript page again? Because I think, realistically, that's all that was over here. Right? It was the manuscript page. Dodge, Alan! Dodge! Oh, I do have to get it again. Okay, great. We can do that. Run, buddy, run! You can do this. You've done it once. You can do it again. Don't be alarmed. Oh, he's tired. Let me let up on the sprinting a little bit. <laughs> when he oh, okay. It's there. not marked. That's fine. Hey, my light over there is going out. This time I won't get turned around. Mm-hmm. Is that a thermos all the way back there? I missed. I missed. Don't even stop it. Oh, this is the one that ki that I almost died for that I yeah. Hey, wait a second. If that's the oh um then maybe I need to go this way. Okay, I think maybe this way is, is like the way for it to continue. I you know what? I I try my hardest, but I can't dodge those things. I don't know if it's a matter of of like literally running out of the way, but when I hit the dodge button with I feel like could be decent timing, I always he never gets out of the way fast enough. <laughs> And I can't tell if that's a skill issue or if the dodge function doesn't work with that. Okay, I need a light. Like, I don't know if the dodge function works on, like, objects or if it's just humanoids. Oh, cool. A hole. <laughs> okay, where... How... Where did I just get spit out into? I got turned around again. How is this happening? It's this way. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around I, here. I would hope so too for your game. sake, Alan. I'll leave your ass here. All right, buddy. We're going to we're going to jump this time. That's you can't just look you Alan. You You jump when I don't want you to jump, and when I want you to jump, you do not jump. What is this? Okay, great. I didn't, I, we, we didn't position this anyways, so... That will, we'll just pretend that, that the two missed jumps was so that I would notice that. Okay, go, Alan, go! Thank you. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hands shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Wow! What a monster! Honestly! He's like the worst of the worst, man. Ugh. Is there anything back here? You got a thermos? Or a handy dandy manuscript page for me? No. That's okay. What about back here? No, that's okay, too. <laughs> I guess. It's not okay, but it's fine. I'll deal. He jumped. He did it. Good job, Alan. You're very athletic, Alan. You're very athletic. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the Here's enemy my without flashlight. a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. I'm gonna trust Barry, though. Just Barry. 
I feel like that's a bad call. I feel like, no, Barry wouldn't sell me out. He only seems like he would sell you out. He seems like the guy that would sell you out and you're like, yeah, that guy would totally sell me out. And then he doesn't in a, in a real life situation. And then you actually feel bad about it because you're like, wow, I doubted you. I need to be a better friend. That's Barry. I felt like I wasn't going in the right direction. I got stuck in the hole. I don't know. It seemed like this was where I was supposed to go. Now I already forgot where I came from, if I'm being honest. When I came over here, everything was getting really threatening, like I shouldn't be here. Oh, you know what? I think I see a path. Or maybe not. I see light. Ah! You're an omega-3 fatty acid. Don't. Oh, no, Alan, you messed up. No, you waited too long. Yeah, you waited too long. You gotta go, buddy. You gotta run, Alan. Oh, not off the cliff, though. Oh! That's bad, Alan. Oh! Uh, ouch! Worth it. Oh! Come on! Oh! That's not how- I, I can't dodge stuff I can't ahead. see. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Okay, Alan, let's go. Superhero time. Come on, Alan. Save yourself, Alan. Maybe, maybe this generator is a red herring and like stopping here to use it slows you down significantly to a point where you, it's just not, yeah. Because they're so throw happy. You don't have time to do any of that. You really don't. Ugh. See, and you can't really dodge things coming from behind you. You just have to make it into the light. Don't throw things into my light. Wow, he really snuck that last one in there. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of walking <laughs> before walking. He's got to protect the Alan Wake cutout, okay? He's only thinking about the future. What is going on here? Super flashlight? Yeah, super flashlight. Yes, Alan, we're very excited for the super flashlight. Can I take both flashlights? Can I, like, double fist the flashlights, please? I would feel much safer. It's not like I have a gun or anything. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I think that was supposed to be the tires squealing, but it kind of sounded there like there was just a bunch of taken inside of that car just roaring. And now all I the the mental image of a bunch of taken joyriding through a car is just stuck in my head, and it's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm not wasting my charge on you. Yeah, you take your time. That's fine. Fine with me. What? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story and goes. The pages we've been picking up. See, okay, and this was. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Okay. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, 
it would finally be free. Okay, so we're being forced to write a story. And this story will eventually lead to the Dark Presence's freedom. Is the light Thomas Zane? That would make sense. Okay, I, I, I like have the, the urge, I have the instinct to walk up to these and like click the disarm button to get some EXP, but I'm not playing an RPG. This is Alan Wake. Oh, I almost stepped on that one. <laughs> Oops. It was like, if these are glowing so bright, how am I supposed to fall into this trap? And I guess it's kind of easy. I almost did, after all. And I can imagine running into these pretty easily, like, being chased by monsters. Like, yeah. Because if you don't stop to watch out for them, they can catch you off-handed when the glow is dimmer. Oh, there's a coffee mug! Merg! There's a merg up there. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was Didn't still we just read this one? The story and oh, it's because I didn't pick up the new page. <laughs> the storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Oh. What is... What are the Anderson brothers up to? Hey, we got ourselves a shotgun. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The Taken are filled with a darkness. That's... Yes, I... Yeah, I, we got that. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, uh, I still need that thermos up there. That's priority number one. Oh! Oh, no! You are priority number one now, friend. Yeah. Yep. No, thank you. Ooh, see? Exactly. I could have panicked and ran right into that while I was trying to avoid him. Easy. Yeah. Is there anything else in here? Can I open this fridge? Is there a man in the fridge? A man in a hat in the fridge? <gasps> A man in the fridge in the hat? Did I get myself stuck in this hole? Alan, you can do it. We got this. Look, there you go. See? No, we're not stuck in the hole. Not Alan. Okay, so this was our checkpoint. We came from this direction, so let's go this way. Hopefully. If I start seeing a bunch of these bear traps, I'm gonna get worried. Oh, no, I just reached a checkpoint. We're good. I saw you. Oh, the only retribution to these stupid bear traps is if they can step into them, too. The heavy-duty flashlight does some work. I like that. I want the heavy-duty flashlight all the time. This is my demand. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Oh, hey! Someone's coming at me from... Oh! There's a lot of someone's here. Okay, I... I yeah, thank you. Yes. Thanks. I have flares. I did... I forgot that I had flares. We got this. We got this. We have flares, we have a strong flashlight. We are equipped for battle. We can defend ourselves. Yeah! 
Okay. That was a lot better than last time, but I think there's still some more coming up. Yeah, yep, okay. Oh! Oh! Hey! Ooh, that was cool! Oh! Out of battery! <laughs> okay. Ooh. I didn't use any flares again. I was, you know what? I was being greedy. I was like, there's not enough of them. There's not enough of them. Oh, okay. I'm going to use it. Yeah. Okay, where's the other guy? Yeah. Oh, I'm almost out of shotgun shells. I thought that that... I thought that that bear trap for a second was a manuscript page. Another guy? Guys, I'm running out of things to kill you with. Like, seriously. I have one shotgun shell. I'm almost to a place. Stop it! Stop that right now! Hey! You guys stop that too! No! Uh-huh. Yeah. We made it. I could see the car. But there was no sight of the driver. Oh, I hope it was Barry. Please let it be Barry. Please let it, please let it Hello? be Barry. Anybody here? Oh no, don't let that be Barry. Barry. Ooh. No, Danny, you're not. Please. What are you? What are you? No, don't. I'm sorry. What happened? Whoa! I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. Let me just take your stuff. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. We're gonna have to fight it's Danny. Not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap <laughs> anyway. Excuse me, that was me. Oh, he's like, come back here so I can die dramatically in front of you. All right, I'll fulfill your wish. All right, so we gotta we gotta find Danny. Oh, Night Springs! I've oh. run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. Yeah, Alan. I've written myself oh, into this. Oh, you're not story. done. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Alan is just going crazy. He's like, I'll write myself into the story, and then I'll write Thomas Zane into the story. That's all... Okay, all right, so he's going rogue. 
And he's just starting to write himself. He's just trying to change the story because he knows that if he keeps doing what they want, it's not going to work out anyways. Oh! Can you please? Dude! Let me guess. Danny, huh? Danny has no personal space. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Bear. Oh, manuscript page? No. Battery is even better right now in this moment. A flare. We like this. Wait. Oh, was that Danny the in the car? Jump through the window, Alan. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Well, I don't do get there fast, Alan. Who do you think you're talking to here, buddy? Let me guess. The keys won't be in the car. Okay, great. The keys are here. Never mind. Up here. He was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Barry was Barry. Poor Barry. Oh no, don't make me drive the car. See, this is what I hate. Now I have to get out of the car to get that coffee mug. Do you see? I'm too lazy to use vehicles because I have to stop, press a button, run back, press another button. I could go it on foot. But I'd make better time in a car. Yes, Alan. We've established this. Thank you. I feel like I'm going to miss manuscript pages. And, like, I'm going to miss all this crazy stuff. They're going to, like, put so much stuff on this path. Out of spite. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Gotta make a pit stop. Cynthia is telling me I need to do something. What is it, girl? Is there a flare gun trapped in a treasure chest? Right, falls light and power. I just realized that that was the branding on the chest. I wonder if there's anything upstairs. doesn't look like it. Oh, we almost missed batteries. You know that I now that I think about it, the heavy duty flashlight, it probably it it probably burns so great, but I bet you it's burning through the batteries faster too. I guess we could switch cars if we wanted to, but I'm pretty partial to this blue truck. It's kind of cool. It's even got like a a cover on the back of its Ass. It's nice. I like it. What is it called? A cab. No, the cab is the front where you are. Oh! I What ha What did I hit? Not fair. Which way? This way? No. Let's keep going this way. If I see any taken, I'm gonna run them over. Oh! Oh! Drive faster! Oh, okay. E Ooh. Oh, that rock was there intentionally. They totally want us wanted us to get hit by that to hit that rock. Oh no, no. Well, I'm not getting out of the car until he's taken or taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. That's how we do it. Are you still another one? Still? Are you dead now? He's still going! Just leave the car on top of him. No way! Who are you? There we go. That did it. That sounded crunchy and satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. 
Okay, I think we have to ditch the car. But at least we got to road rage on some Taken. That was pretty nice. I always feel like I miss out on that. Oh, stop being so angry! I don't know if that slows it down, but I tried. Did it explode? Nice. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I think I might have gone too far. Am I supposed to go through here? It looks like it. Is that a stage? No way. I, you know what? Okay. This is probably the most, for uh, as far as my last playthrough goes, this is probably the most memorable area. This is some kind of, the okay. Used to be some kind of rock stars. I'm excited. But I'm excited. Really until I saw the stage. Al! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! No! Oh! Oh, cool! No, cool! I thought it was gonna get Barry! <laughs> Even Alan knew that was so cool! <sighs> Barry, that's the coolest thing you've ever done! Shut up and shoot! Okay. Alright, it's time to shoot stuff now. Ow! We have to fight them all! <laughs> yes, please turn on the fireworks from here! <laughs> this is wild! I love it! Did he tell me to do something? I wasn't paying attention. I was fangirling instead. Okay. Oh, heavy duty lantern? Yes! Here we go! <laughs> this is wait, this doesn't seem like I'm doing a good job. It feels like I'm doing a bad job. Oh! Flares Allen! <laughs> oh! No! I need, I'm still not, I still haven't made it to the other side of the stage. There's gotta be stuff over here. <laughs> Oh, pump action shotgun? Heck yeah, that's better than the regular shotgun. Cool. We're going with that for now. My god, can you guys... Hey! Oh, he got me. I I feel like I was moving really slowly. Like, I felt really sluggish. It's okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and collect everything first. I can set up more of the fireworks from here and help you out! This is just really... I'm just so distracted by all the cool! <laughs> it's, it's the music. It's definitely the music in the background that makes you feel cooler than you actually are. Get in the light, Alan! Oh, damn it. Turn to the century wiring! Really, Barry? Oh no! I'm, I'm like, it's almost like I'm enjoying myself too much. I feel like I need to concentrate. I'm just kind of like caught up in the moment. Ow! We have to fight them all. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one first. Hey, guys, come on! Throwing things already? I think what's catching... That was really bad. That... I don't even know what that was. Shut up and shoot! I think I'm a little overwhelmed. 
I what was help. that, Alan? Oh, okay, he's not really... I don't... He just felt stuck. Alan, why do you feel stuck? Okay. I'm gonna drop a flare while I collect stuff. <laughs> Alan, please just cooperate with me for a second. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's what I needed to do earlier. No, 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 no. Stop throwing things at me, please. <laughs> Can you imagine these are this this music? That's the crazy old men singing. <laughs> okay, where are you guys at? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm doing okay. Oh, the light! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> did we do it? Oh, no, we did not do it! That's a large man! Oh, there's a lot! There's a lot of them! Okay, sweet! No, not sweet! Where'd that, where'd that come from? Oh, they're up there! No, they're over here! Oh! Okay, we got a flare. We got a flare going. Let's see if there's any more flashbangs in here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay. <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh my god. Yeah. You thought. They are trying to kill us. That's the high point of my mind. They're trying to kill us! Yes, Alan, they are. Barry's just enjoying this as much as I am, okay? Don't be a hater. I feel like I used all my flashbangs way too early. Oh, okay, back in the- okay, this gets rid of them. Yeah! So you just kind of have to li last long enough for Barry to get that light back on? You did do that, Barry. Good job! Okay, but seriously, how long do I have to spend in this sequence? Because it's very cool, but it's also taking forever. <gasps> I can't handle this. Okay, perfect timing, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's where we're going. That was awesome! Yes, Barry, yes. Balls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs> okay, we're all charged up. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! I know, buddy. I'm just looking for stuff. He's so amped up right now. Look at him go. He's like just a little kid. He's gonna become some kind of danger junkie after this. I swear. The cutout? See, bestseller? No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right? No Brian? way. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got, before they ambushed me. Okay, I see that glowing box up there. So let's probably wrap our way around this way and climb. Perfect, a ladder. There we go. And jump, Alan. Good job, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Stop it. Oh, I'm 
smell and wait. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. Oh, apparently, I can't I think climb. I see what you did there. I think I see what you did there. No? Thought so. You couldn't do a good imitation of Barry Wheeler, and you know it, Alan Wake. Don't even try. That was actually really funny. I can't believe Barry is just so hyped off, hyped up off that victory. He's like, I didn't die. I'm. He's. His ego is like so inflated right now. It's not even funny. I mean, it's kind of funny. I'll probably hurt myself if I jump down, but I don't want to go back the other way. It's okay, I'll recover. Is that a- oh, damn it. Wait here, Barry. Oh, can I get back? I don't remember how to go back. Was it this way? He can wait there with his little Alan Waite cutout that he loves so very much. I need to get that manuscript page. It's very important to me that I do. Like, if I don't see it, so be it. But I saw it. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't you even clear what coffee and pie any time. Except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running okay. out. Okay. This guy's just like, th this fed is just, has this giant hate boner for Alan Wake, and I don't know why, is basically what local law enforcement feels at this point. They're like, this is useless. Alright, Barry. Let's go to the farm. It was just that one little stick of wood. Holding everything together. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. Whoa. They really went wild with this spiky crap, didn't they? Interesting. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne Springs. from reality TV. You did not bury Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. At least he learned. I'll give him that. Barry's gonna watch it with us? Helen wrote some of these episodes? Oh! oh. The dream of dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones. I wonder which ones he's written. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Is it... Isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. Wait. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we <laughs> I don't know what that- I don't know either. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat, oh, they cease yeah, to exist. Precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something. It's almost like it reminds me of like a wind yeah. fish scenario. You know. What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wake up. Oh, no. Not the wife and kids. 
What did you think, Barry? That was a good one, huh? I like that he that he reacts to the flashlight in his face. I need to see if everybody does that. There it is. That's what I was looking for. I knew you were here somewhere. Maybe a manuscript page. Ooh, batteries. Fantastic. Rifle ammo? Do I have a rifle yet? I do not. I'll probably have one soon. If that means anything. No? Not here? Okay, we gotta get to the second level, it looks like. I think there was some stairs. Yeah, right here. Um, no? I thought I saw something over there. Is this a man? Yeah. They're, they're so bright, sometimes I can't even tell that they're a square. <laughs> it's 1976. Nice. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't Drink stop Drinking the Cauldron Lake he water? cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field. Naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh my god. And he's wearing- Odin is wearing an eye patch. Did Odin cut his own eyeball out? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Are we going to use it as a battering ram, Alan? That, that means yes. Oh, we are maxed out on batteries for real? Barry, watch out! We are gonna use it like a battering ram. Ooh, yeah! Nice. Oh, is this like a set list? A tour a tour list? Old Gods of Asgard, 1975 Ragnarok tour. Be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Let's see, Washington, California, California, New York, New Jersey. Milwaukee? Is that MI? Florida? Florida? LA? LA? LA is in a... is... oh, uh, oh, Louisiana. I was thinking LA like California. That's what I get. Wow, they've been around. That's cool. That's a nice big tour they did there. Don't even! That my flashlight is so huge. Oh! I hate these little fast ones in the track suits. In the track suits. They make me so upset. They just hop around like little gremlins. Yeah. You sneaky sneaker. Don't even do that with your little scythes. Hey! Why are you being so fast? Did he just get stuck in the corner? It sounded like he was stuck. <laughs> It sounded like you got stuck between those two items there. I think we can make it through here, Al! Oh, do you, Barry? Barry's like Laura, the little girl from Silent Hill, where he just kind of happens to run through all the monsters, almost completely unaffected. Is that a dog? Oh, no dogs, please. Wait, is this where the dog lived? The dog Max? Ooh, almost hit that. I act like there's there's only allowed to be one dog in Bright Falls. <laughs> it's a dog house. Max must live here. Hey! Oh, you! Oh no! You guys suck! I see you! 
one of them's coming around the corner over here. I know it. Hey! I am getting so cornered. This is bad. I need to pick another corner to back into. Oh my god, he's too large. I hate it. I hate everything. Ooh, I hit the I hit the electrical. Can you? Yeah, that's not normal. You shouldn't stop it. You shouldn't have that kind of accuracy. All right, let's switch back to the revolver. <laughs> Oh, this thing's over here still convulsing. I thought it was prepping to get up and hit me. It's just a blockade. Hi, Barry! Let's go, Barry. What is that? Wow. Furnace? Those no. Geezers at oh, it's the moonshine production. You know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, <laughs> sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. After seeing that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. He wants to sell this stuff after seeing that manuscript page about them ripping their eyeballs out. Oh, Barry. <laughs> Doors locked. Kick it in, Alan. All right. Open the silo door for Barry. We can do that. Be this is out. the only kind of escort mission I approve of is where you're like opening doors for someone who is more or less invincible. I hate escort. I, I really, every horror game does it. You always need to escort someone somewhere and they're always a liability and they're, they're always running into trouble and getting hurt. It's just, ah! <laughs> It's not my favorite part of any game. I can barely keep myself alive. You want me to keep an NPC alive too? I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? That's what killed me about Silent Hill 4. Oh, I need to go higher. Is that the entire second half of the game was just the first half of the game over again, except you have to escort someone through it. And it just, as much fun and as cool of an experience that is, I don't know if I can play the first half and the second half of that game over again, knowing that the second half is just the first half over again. <laughs> Great story, though. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Tell us more, friend. Are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. No, come on, Thornton. Say anything. You should have said something. Got, you know, I want to know the tea. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been how wild? On a year. scale of one to ten. Fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing too. Like seven point yeah, yeah, five. Pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just you, you know. A lot more of it. People go missing? That's I mean, usual? Deer fest get wilder every year. People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot. I there wasn't much of a train of thought there to begin me. with. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who are yeah. Better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's kids, nice to hear at least. We love the kids. Boys, the kids I are just thank fine. You for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your They're patrol. our future. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. These grown ass adults that can't control themselves. It's usually the case, unfortunately. 
Did we get the silo door open? Oh, no. Batteries. Perfect. This should do it, right? I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. That's a grand home. They had the goods. We gotta go get Barry. Oh, look at all this stuff. Perfect. Wait, where's the where's the door for Barry? <laughs> On the other side, over here. No. Um, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. <laughs> we'll, we will press on, and hopefully that is what we are supposed to do. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Ew, no! Oh my god, that's super dangerous. That's pointy and bad. Am I supposed to let this thing grate up this fence here? Oh, no, 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 no. This is gonna be like that bulldozer all over again. <laughs> Where do I go? I feel like it's through here. I feel like I need to get this bulldozer to smash through that gate. Right? Please? No? Can I kill it? I don't think I can kill it. What is it doing? It's coming back for more. I can't tell if I'm doing a bad job of getting it to go into the gate. <gasps> it says defeat the harvester. Are you kidding me? I actually have to fight that thing? Oh no. I don't believe you. That's a lie. You've got to be kidding me. I, it's not, Alan. It's true. It's true and it's very dumb. I don't know if it's true. How can that be true? How can I have to fight the bulldozer? Look, it's over there minding its own business. Like, you really want me to shoot the truck? Okay, well, I'm burning it. I can feel, I, I felt that. boss fight. Just so odd. Really? More of you? This is inappropriate. Batteries, buddy. Don't like that very much, huh? What about you? You like my batteries? He hates them. He hates my batteries. Maybe I should get it to crash into a fence and then put a flare next to it. That sounds kind of cool. Like it would do a good job. Oh, oh, I probably need a flare here anyways. Ah! <laughs> oh, I almost got pinned. <gasps> We did it. Cool. I got very lucky. I feel like I could have easily been crushed there. Okay, but hey, seriously? You know, you would have think you would have ran away after you saw me kill a bulldozer. That's how I'm supposed to proceed. Okay.
You're just gonna keep that locked away from me, huh? I can't believe I fought a harvester. Amazing. I ran from the bulldozer. I wasn't gonna fight a bulldozer. That would be dumb. Still gotta get the silo door open for Barry. What is going on in here? Ooh, we got keys! Oh, that flashing. I really don't like that flashing. Sorry, I'm gonna leave. Apologies. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. All right, Barry. You lead the way, sir. You're the hero here, I guess. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It's pretty heavy. Where were you? Hey. I think that's the farm on the other side Actually, of the Actually, never mind. Almost it was there. probably best that he stayed behind for the harvester thing. Because he probably would have got right squashed. I would not have done a good job protecting Barry. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I like that their push animations are different. Can I take this? Please let me take the chainsaw. Oh. Old gods know the truth. <gasps> Cynthia Weaver knows. We trust Cynthia. I don't know if we should, but I do. I guess we better check the fuse box. Who got it? Examine. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay. Downstairs. Wait, so does that mean the fuse box is upstairs? Did they just rip the doors off of their kitchen appliances? That's pretty metal. That's... that's fine. Maybe through here? Oh, another coffee thermos? Wow, that was two of them in the house. Nice. So maybe you know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh! Awesome. Okay, we've got Laura unraveling. We've got cool ass Anderson oh, brothers. On, huh? I'm I'm trying, Barry. I'm looking for the fuse box. I don't know why it would be upstairs. Kind of seems like a downstairs thing. Can we go up there? That looks suspicious. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Ooh. <laughs> That's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia, Cynthia Weaver! Right. Must be. They wrote a song to lead Alan before Alan existed? Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. This is like we'll some for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Fadeism type of stuff. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. <laughs> and by rest, I mean drunk. Oh Come yeah, on, being man, hammered is... is gonna be great. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> a 
amazing. Uh, did it didn't. He did not take much convincing. I'm sorry about this. No, seriously, because I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> And I just cut out his back I there. Write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? <laughs> what are they putting this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out. Oh of my no, throat. that's the moonshine. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a. Uh, uh, Someone's uh, losing an eyeball or a finger, possibly an earball. Oh no, here I we go. Depressive drunk mode. I know, I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Oh. Are you okay? Are you sleeping with your eyes open? No, I think you just woke up from a dream. Oh my gosh. Is this what the transcript was say? Oh! Damn it. This is what the transcript was talking about. Oh, the out of body experience. Alice, no way. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! It was a crazy Help drunken me! dream. Help and yet, me! it was more than that. It was the truth a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out of body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Alice? I remember Alice. being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking oh. I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, okay. sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car hey, but and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Hey, so you surfaced by yourself. I must have thought she drowned. God, that Jagger had Alice, Alice. And so she had me. Oh man. Alice. Oh, that's brutal. I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing oh together. Oh my god. You. She's not here. You are foolish to think She's gonna trap me in here. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your She's fault. not dead, is she? You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you, She's right? Not dead. You killed her. Ah! Oh no. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Oh. He was right. He's definitely you easy prey at this point. He's back. so broken. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her.
Is the manuscript ransom? Yes. I'll write. Or is she just I'll manipulating him into I'll writing out of grief? <laughs> No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Did you I finish it? I saving Alice. Bro, you didn't look like you were thinking Even at all. You looked indoctrinated. Me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. The light is Zane. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I will hear. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my wife a long time ago. She looks so old. <laughs> she looks so gross and old, bro. <laughs> Did he really have to throw that in? <laughs> what was the point? I had woken up, confused. I would and never wrong. love an old lady, by the way. <laughs> she didn't look All like I that when I was with her. <laughs> cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious. Okay, so he... Oh, this is how we ended up in the car accident that we woke up into. Thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence. Kept me safe that night. Well, obviously, Zane's gonna put in the work because the dark presence has at least the body or the image of his lost love. So yeah, he's probably gonna wanna take it I down too. It. It's my fault. It's your fault, Alan. That's right, James <gasps> Joyce. It's your fault and you're gonna pay oh, for God it. Damn it. <laughs>